This is one of our two metabolomics labs at DHMRI. Um, the focus of these labs is to measure small molecules. Uh, so using these systems, we can get the basically the mass um, and the characteristics of unknown or known molecules. And with that information, you can look at molecular changes um, within samples, as well as do sort of quantitation for small molecules. The importance of these molecules are that when you're when you're eating, when you're taking in different types of drugs, your body is taking in those components and you're, you're basically processing them. And the end result are metabolites um, that are generated. And so what these systems do is they can measure the metabolites. And with that information, you can look at um, if you're effectively processing compounds, what potential components might be a result of being exposed to potential types of compounds, as well as general changes. They can also serve as potential markers for disease, um, since you have molecules that are active incorrectly uh, within patients. By looking at metabolites, you can look at potential markers for disease as well. The DHMRI is a research institute, so the focus of the institute is to collaborate and support researchers on the campus, as well as researchers across the state and across the country. Um, the goal of that is to utilize the resources here, the staff, the staff experience, as well as the instrumentation, um, to provide systems or capabilities that may not be available to all researchers or to all um, companies um, across the U.S. And hopefully to be able to support their research activities with the systems and capabilities here. The, the general goal of the Institute is to provide a mechanism to integrate data from multiple platforms, multiple systems, uh, multiple capabilities. So we, you know, the Institute has capabilities for microscopy, genomics, metabolomics, proteomics, and not only can these labs work independently to provide research support and information for a project, but also you can utilize the tools to provide information across platforms. So, you know, potentially you could generate proteomics data to look at protein changes, as well as metabolomic data to look at metabolite changes, and then integrate the information from both pieces to better understand the entire biological process that you're studying. A lot of our studies vary. Um, so here we may do academic research looking at um, plant molecules. So can you quantitate plant molecules that may have a biological or a health significance and therefore understand which crops may be more beneficial, may be healthier, um, may smell better uh, for when you sort of are looking at marketing um, for those potential compounds, as well as looking at uh, biological changes. So if you have plasma or serum samples from diseased patients, can you look at biomarker changes using these tools that might indicate disease or response to therapy?